mornings with Joe and Jana. Good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday morning, or excuse me, a Thursday morning. See, you think it's Tuesday because yesterday was your first day back and yes. it's Monday. Yes, and also exactly. I can't read. It's Thursday <laughs> morning. It is the 22nd day of February. It's Wildlife Day, Recreational Sports and Fitness Day, Yeah. Supermarket Employee Day. We need those. And ladies and gentlemen, the reason for the excitement this morning, National Margarita Day. Yes. We'll take the tree one of 7.3 mornings with Joe and Jono. Welcome to a Thursday morning. Around here, Thursdays mean throwback Thursdays. Throughout the day, we'll be playing some of your favorite throwback hits. But what about we start the morning with something brand new that's uh, that's kind of old. Good morning. Things you need to know this morning. This is very scary. Police say a business owner in Absecon viciously attacked at her business in the middle of the day Monday. Police say a man later identified as 37-year-old Deshaun Cooper of Pleasantville entered the business and allegedly initiated an assault on the female store owner. Police were able to rescue her from the attack and make the arrest. More details on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The dating app Bumble is settling with New Jersey regarding their background check policy. Bumble is agreeing to pay a civil penalty of roughly $315,000. An investigation by New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs found that the Texas-based company inaccurately or failed to represent their criminal background screening policies, including not telling its users that not every Bumble and Badoo profile are screened for criminal history. And a $2.5 million grant has been issued for a container park in Atlantic City. So what the heck is a container park? <laughs> it's being called part entertainment venue, part local vendor market, and part gourmet marketplace. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have one of those. The concept has been a trendy addition to Atlanta, Las Vegas, Orlando, Salt Lake City, and more. It's expected to be built on a vacant lot on Pacific Avenue. Today's South Jersey weather becoming cloudy, a chance of afternoon rain, high of 46. Tree 107.3, mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for Jana's Fangirl Update. Garth Brooks isn't planning on attending the opening of his Broadway bar, Friends in Low Places, in person. So if you were excited about possibly seeing him there, yeah, that's not going to happen. But he is going to make an exception if one special celebrity guest decides to stop by. We're talking about the man of the hour, Travis Kelsey. Brooks revealed that the full honky tonk will open to the public on March 7th. He also joke jokingly invited the Kansas City Chief player to join the party, offering to book him to perform Friends in Low Places. We already know that he can sing it, too. He sang it at the Kansas City Chiefs Victory Parade. The bar's namesake, and that's obviously Garth Brooks' signature hip. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be something? He even offered to send a private plane to bring Kelsey and 10 of his closest friends to Nashville. We'll see if that comes through. We've got Garth Brooks' offer to Travis Kelsey up for you right now at catcountry1073.com. And anybody who's anybody is dying to work with Dolly Parton, that even includes rapper Snoop Dogg. Yeah, he actually really does want to work with her. You can see what he said about it is up now on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The Jana's Fangirl Update on Cat Country 107.3. Cat Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. How's your morning going so far? If there's caffeine in it, you're on the right track. Go I, ahead. I woke up, did my usual stop at Wawa for a healthy breakfast, came into work, started eating breakfast, and realized... Uh oh. I didn't have my cell phone, so I proclaimed no. to myself, that's okay. I can make it through the morning without my cell phone. Can you? 12 minutes later, I was back in my car driving all the way home to get Country 107.3 mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for your Cat Country joke of the morning. All right, who's sending in today? Jill and Galloway. Thank you, Jill. Oh, Jill, thanks. So a woman was out golfing one day when she hit her ball in the woods. She went into the woods to look for it and found a frog in a trap. The frog said, if you release me from this trap, I'll grant you three wishes. Well, the woman freed the frog, talking frog, and the frog said, thank you. But I failed to mention there is a condition to your three wishes. Whatever you wish for, your husband will get ten times more or ten times better. The woman said, that's all right. She wanted to be the most beautiful world woman in the world. That was her first wish. The frog warned her, well, you do realize this wish will also make your husband the most handsome man in the world and Adonis that women will flock to. The woman said, well, that's okay because I'll be the most beautiful woman and he'll only have eyes for me. So, Kazam, she's the most beautiful woman in the world. For the second wish, she wanted to be the richest woman in the world. Wow. The frog says, that will make your husband the richest man in the world. He'll be ten times richer than you. She said, that's all right. Because what is mine is mine and what's his is mine. <laughs> Kazam, she's the youngest or she's the richest woman in the world. Finally, the frog asked about her third wish. She said, I'd like to have a mild heart attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Happy Thursday. Our Joe and Jonna question of the day today. We'll talk more about this at 720. What word or words do you substitute? What funny word or words do you substitute for swear words, dirty words, bad words? 
I almost just said one right there. A dirty word or a funny word that a you substitute? A dirty word that I wouldn't use on air, but oh. I guess I can say crud. That's I say fudge one. a lot. Yeah. yeah, you do. You'll be here, you'll be like, oh, fudge. Except it's a lot more elongated than that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. yes. Fudge. Fudge. So what's your what's your substitute to swear words, substitute dirty <laughs> words? Let us know on the Cat Country 107.3 I app. can hear it in my head. I can hear <laughs> you saying it in my head Hit the right message now. us button. We'll talk about it at 720 off. Cat Country 107.3. Mornings with Joe and Jonna. Time now for your Cat Country dumb story of the morning. Here we go. Mountain Home, Arkansas. Rural area. Two men pounded on the front door just before midnight. When the three homeowners opened the door, they were confronted by two masked men with guns. The residents didn't have any cash, so one suggested the robbers, if they take PayPal. Uh, ah, sure. One, sure. Of the, one of the victims sent $120 while still at gunpoint, and the men fled the house. Investigators simply traced the receipt. There account belonging to the couple of 19-year-olds, and they were eventually arrested. Okay. What funny word or words do you substitute for the bad words? This Good morning. Things you need to know this morning. Very scary situation in Epsic in the middle of the day Monday. A business owner was attacked right in her business. They say a man later identified as 37-year-old Deshaun Cooper of Pleasantville entered the business, allegedly initiated an assault on the female store owner. Police were able to pull her away from the attacker and make the arrest. More details on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The New Jersey Poison Center is warning customers to stay away from a product being referred to as gas station heroin. The supplement's official name is Neptune's Fix. It is legal. There's no heroin in it. But officials say it does include a highly addictive supplement that is considered a depressant. The Food and Drug Administration says its possible side effects include seizures, loss of consciousness, and death. Neptune's Fix is sold at gas stations and convenience stores. Atlantic City has been named the best party city in the U.S. The gambling and sports website bonusfinder.com ranks Atlantic City at the top of its survey with an average hotel price of $116 a night. Not bad. Today's weather across South Jersey becoming cloudy, a chance of rain in the afternoon, high of 46. Cat Country morning birthday shout out start right now. Here we go. Happy birthday to Amy Bruno of Egg Harbor Township. Amy is 52. Nice. Mimi Ernst of Absegan is 64. Singer Sherry Lynn, she's from Deadford. She has a birthday today. Sher- Sherry, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Ronnie Pavia of Tuckerton, who's 52. Trisha Houck of Egg Harbor City celebrates today. It's Kevin Bird's birthday. Kevin is from Mays Landing. He's 64. Dawn Stagg is 55 today. Thomas Epler of Hamilton is 62. Happy birthday, Thomas. And happy birthday to Walt Garrett of Dennisville. Walt is 67 today. We missed you. Happy one to you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of our Cat Country Big Birthday shout-out today is none other than Kevin Bird of Mays Landing. 720, or Joe and John, a question of the day today. What word, what funny word or words do you substitute for bad words, swear words? Cuss words. It's the best. No, the best is, I, I'll, I'll play golf with some guys. Yeah. We'll come up with the best swear word combinations of all the real swear words. <laughs> Which we cannot say <laughs> yes, on the radio. Yes, yes, Those are the best. This is second best. No, but some of these are really funny. Uh, Abigail, or excuse me, Jessica says, what in the hoo-ha is that? What in the hoo-ha? I love it. Abigail That's also awesome. sa- says she's a Southern girl. She says... She's got a lot of them, like bless it, dang flabbit, cotton headed ninny muggin. Oh, that's like me, Joe. Cotton headed ninny muggins. That's from um, Elf. I don't know. Son of a nutcracker. Uh, Kim says mother when goose instead of the other mo- mother. Uh, Lindsay says my kids are both jack wagons on occasion. Jack wagons. That's the best. Uh, let's see. Rose says son of a sea biscuit. Son of a sea biscuit. Shirley says she substitutes cheese and rice. There you go. That's one. Patty, so. Jimmy Crickets, Gene, Holy Moly Cakes, Josh, Holy Schnikes. I got to be careful saying all these because I'm I'm close to just saying the real word. <laughs> it's it's uh, creeping up. Heidi says, Holy Cannoli. Holy Cannoli. Uh, also, Son of a Bead. Son of a Bead. Oh, that's funny. Let's go to Kathy in Hamilton. What do you think, Kathy? Good morning. I used to work at a trucking company, and right. one of my big bad truck drivers... Instead of saying a bad word, he would say dirty word. Huh? Yeah, he would just say the actual dirty word. Oh. Dirty word. word. That's funny. Well, you can answer us on the Cat Country 107.3 app at the message us button. You can call us at 609-383-1073 or answer us on Facebook again. Here it is. The Joe and John, a question of the day today. What funny word or words or phrases do you substitute for 
dirty or bad words or swear words. What we, was yours again? I forget already. Fudge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to be careful with some of these answers that you've given us because some of the answers are even worse than the swear words. <laughs> yeah, like... Um, Connor says, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Oh, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Cindy, what the fudgical? What the fudgical? One of my favorites from Meredith Kingsley. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. I like that one. That's up there with holy cannoli. For uh, me. Noelle says, sugar beans and apple sticks. Oh, my gosh. What? My mom just texted me. She, he said, remember, look, it's on my watch. She said, remember sugar booger? Yeah, but there's a whole thing about this, Joe. Can I tell you this story really quickly? Sugar booger. Yeah, do you know what they are? Do you know what that is? It's an illicit substance. Think about it. What? About one that looks like I thought sugar. We were sub- wait, wait we're, we're, we're getting, we're, I thought we were talking about where's the we substitute are. for she fake words. She used to say, oh, sugar booger. Okay. And then, but then as we got older, I never There's realized There's something wrong it. with the word yes. sugar burger? What, what's wrong with it? It's, it's like. Just say it. It's like a drug. It's like a, a drug. Like, it's like, the, can I say what the drug is? Yeah, like? why not? Like Coke. Like sugar booger. Like sugar booger. Like I've never heard that. Coke. Yeah. We must sugar travel boogers? in different drug circles. Let me know. Somebody I know. Well, well, I didn't, right. I didn't realize okay. this, but my brother pointed it out. All my right. brother's a lot older than me. And one day I was like a teenager and my mom had said it and he was like, mom, like, do you not know what you're saying? All right. And it was just a whole thing. All right. Jones, Funny. Jones says sugar, honey, iced tea. I saw that. Somebody, uh, Kelly Brady from Mullica Township said the same thing on the app. Um, Emma says, Emma says, Emma Edelman, she's from Summer's Point. She says, not a finger. What? I don't know. What is that substituting for? I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. Uh, Katie says, Jiminy Christmas. Um, let's go to Steve in Galloway. What do you got, Steve? Instead of using a dirty word, I use aardvark. Why aardvark? It's got to be the funniest word ever, so I just... Number 609-383-1073, or you can hit the message us button, or excuse me, the call us button on the Cat Country 107.3 app. Prize today on trivia, a six-month membership to Island Gym. Looking in, in the event or shopping... What's that? Looking fit, look right and tight for summer. Yeah. Can I can I finish this? I guess you can. Because uh, you interrupted, and I. I guess you, so far people think they've won a six month membership to Island Jit. If you win trivia, you win a six month membership to Island Gym in the Ventnor Shopping Plaza. It's open twenty four hours, seven days a week. Yes. South Jersey's most popular health and fitness center. Start for only nine dollars. Strength equipment, cardio, group classes—they've got it all. Right. Islandgym.com. For some, I can say it now, right? Right. You can do whatever Point. you want. That's the world we live in. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Whatever you feel you're entitled to, go ahead. You go ahead and do, do that, sweet cheeks. <laughs> go so, ahead. We'll allow it. Six-month membership to Island Gym. Continue. Not allowed to tell anybody no anymore. <laughs> Say what you want. Do what you want. Be a man. Be a woman. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I got to go to the bed. Go ahead. Keep going. You can use any bathroom you'd like. <laughs> Here's the question. <laughs> are we still on the air? The only two days of the year in which there are no professional sporting events in this country. That is Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL, or NFL. Yeah, there's an occasional, you know, off day in December for, like, something. But that, something. That, that's not what we're looking for. Only two days of the year every year in which there are no professional sport games being baseball, hockey, basketball or football what are the only two days of the year the only sports that matter there are no it's cat country 107.3 mornings with joe and jana cat country morning trivia is on the air at stake we've got the six month membership to island gym and the vendor shopping plaza right oh, for summer. Oh, 24 <laughs> hours a day seven days a week check them out online at islandgym.com great place I'm not gonna let this go we've got uh, a question this morning what are the only two days of the year it happens every year, by the way. There could be a random day here and there, but the only two days of the year locked in every year in which there are no professional sporting games. That is, there's no Major League Baseball, no NBA basketball, no NHL hockey, no NFL football. Only two days of year. This is every really year. hard. I feel like I've guessed every single day and you told me now. Because you kept guessing holidays, right? Yeah, I did. That's true. Hi, Cat Country. Yeah, 4th of July and Labor Day. No, those are both wrong. Thank you. Those are actually both big uh, Major League Baseball days. You said, no, those are both wrong. Thank you. Well, they are. Just your response was funny. They're both wrong. Ooh, I know, I know. I didn't want to lead them on. I get it. Hi, Cat Country. What's your answer? 
why is it the day before and the day after the All-Star game? Absolutely right. Day before and after the Dang. baseball All-Star game. You're a winner. What's your name? Wow. Tyler. Tyler, where are you from? Ab- from Absecon. He knew the only two days of the year in which there are no professional sports games scheduled. Uh, that's Major League Baseball, NBA ho- or NBA basketball, NHL hockey, NFL football. Where the day before and after the All-Star game, baseball All-Star game, that's so the uh, baseball players in the All-Star can, can get to and from their season to the All-Star game and then back. So. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, let's get back to our Joe and John, our question of the day today. Here it is, um, in case you missed it. What funny word or words do you substitute for swear words, bad words, dirty words? All the words. <laughs> yeah. Judy from uh, Egg Harbor City says uh, some of the classics. Son of a beach. Son of a beach. Or H E double hockey sticks. Oh, that's a good one. We have a uh, we have Jennifer from Rio Grande. She said popsicle sticks. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. What you're gonna have to write down what word that's supposed to mean. Well, or unless just, it's just like a phrase that yeah. you say rather than okay. That's Ro- Rob from C- uh, Cedarville said my grandma used to use hell's bells and panther droppings. Panther dropping. That's interesting. That's a new one. <laughs> Panther dropping. Well, we they've, might they've have some cited, of those in They've South been cited Jersey, all over actually. New Jersey. The yeah. Panthers have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gianna from Neptune says, uh, one thing I say on occasion is, you son of a motherless goat. The Three Amigos? It's from the movie Three Amigos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brian is on the phone. He's from Dorothy. Go ahead, Brian. So I got two of them for you. Okay. okay here we go. My pastor used to say cheese and crackers. Jesus. All the time. All right. And my wife is constantly calling our kids when she gets mad at them. Turkey birds. This firm. Good morning. We're Joe and Jana. Here's what you need to know this morning. This is very scary. Police say a business owner in Absecon viciously attacked at her business in the middle of the day Monday. Police say a man later identified as 37-year-old Deshaun Cooper of Pleasantville entered the business and allegedly initiated an assault on the female store owner. Police were able to rescue her from the attack and make the arrest. More details on the Cat Country 107.3 app. The dating app Bumble is settling with New Jersey regarding their background check policy. Bumble is agreeing to pay a civil penalty of roughly $315,000. An investigation by New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs found that the Texas-based company inaccurately or failed to represent their criminal background screening policies, including not telling its users that not every Bumble and Badoo profile are screened for criminal history. And a $2.5 million grant has been issued for a container park in Atlantic City. So what the heck is a container park? <laughs> it's being called part entertainment venue, part local vendor market, and part gourmet marketplace. Ooh. Yeah, we don't have one of those. The concept has been a trendy addition to Atlanta, Las Vegas, Orlando, Salt Lake City, and more. It's expected to be built on a vacant lot on Pacific Avenue. Today's South Jersey weather becoming cloudy, a chance of afternoon rain, high of 46. Three one seven point three mornings with Joe and Jana. Time now for my favorite tweets from the last 24 hours. Here we go. There are five of them. Number one. You know you're old when you go to an event with an open bar and stop after two drinks. Yes. <laughs> yes. Paul being responsible. Number two. I wish Sundays were made of the same long minutes as computer software updates are. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that the truth? Loading. 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 Num- number three. Cars come with warnings to check the back seat for babies now. I always do. And frankly, I'll be low-key terrified if I ever find one. <laughs> if I ever see one back there, <laughs> something ain't right. <laughs> Number four, if your hoodie strings are are uneven, I won't even acknowledge you. <laughs> oh. Do you obsess about that when you wear a hoodie, that your strings are... Not even? Yeah. Okay, good. A little bit. Number five, we're Joe and John. These are my favorite tweets. Last one. If you're going to make me scan my own groceries, heck, give me an intercom, too. While you're <laughs> at it. <laughs> Three. Mornings with Joe and John. Uh, next big thing. You might remember every once in a while they've done this. A Red Lobster does an all-you-can-eat shrimp. Yeah, it's well, like a thing every year. But a few months ago, Red Lobster confessed that the latest all-you-can-eat shrimp deal caused major financial losses to the chain. They better not be canceling it. No, they're bringing something else out now. Okay. What could be better than all-you-can-eat shrimp at Red Lobster? How about all-you-can-eat lobster at Red Lobster? That, I mean, only appropriate, right? But wait, it's not that cool. The deal is only available to 150 people. Those 150 people apparently have been selected. Are apparently you they're, serious? they're the ones with seafood allergies or something. I don't know, but... It's called the Endless Lobster Experience. It began this week. But did you need to, like, apply for I, it or something? I don't Apparently. know if they just picked out some customers and said, congratulations, you won. But uh, 150 people are getting the never-ending lobster feast deal. But there's some limits. It's not really never-ending. You have to stop after two and a half hours. And you're not allowed to have more than 12 lobsters at a time. 
Rocket Tree 107.3 Mornings with Joe and John. About a month ago, less than a month ago, John, I said, hey, uh, movies you need to watch. You need to watch Groundhog Day. Have you watched it yet? No. John, uh, have you ever seen the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yes. That, that's also about the same time period, about 40 years ago. Paramount has just announced a spinoff of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's Ferris cool. Bueller's getting retired? I don't know. Uh, uh, they, they say that the film will be titled Sam and Victor's Day Off. The film will focus on the two valets who took Cameron's father's Ferrari for a joyride. This sounds like a real losers I movie mean, so the, far, doesn't it? Joe's like, no thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. The only caveat is of that this might be has a slight possibility of working. The creative team behind this is actually the ones behind the hit Cobra Kai. That series that was made from the Karate Kid movies so many years later. That, I'm not gonna that so, series is hard to watch for me. For you don't me. like it? Nah, I mean, well, I, again, you're not. It's like cheesy. Six, you're not 60 years old and watch no, Karate Kid like when my, you're a kid. No, but my yeah. boyfriend loves it. I just, I, I don't know. It's it's kind of cheesy. We'll see. I can get through it, but Sam and like a... Sam and Victor's day off. It's Anna. Hey, we got a new seize the deal deal going live tomorrow morning at nine. It's for Romanelli's Garden Cafe in Galloway, where delicious meets delightful. You'll be able to get a fifty dollars gift card for just twenty five dollars. It's going to start at, at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning at SeizeTheDeal.com. I'm hungry already, Jonna. I know. Same.